ClassicGameRoom.com Welcome to Classic Game Room, where I've got a collection containing Salamander Life Force and Salamander 2. It must be the Salamander Deluxe Pack Plus for the Sega Saturn. The super value meal of spaceship shooters on the Saturn from Konami, where your main course is Salamander 2, plus your choice of two sides, Salamander 1 and Life Force. And you'll just have to buy your drink separately, sorry. Three great games on one disc. For those into this spaceship shooter genre, Salamander is a series that you don't want to miss. It obviously shares a lot in common with Gradius, or Gradius, depending on how you pronounce it, also from Konami. In fact, many of us in the West are familiar with Life Force from the popular NES release. Well, you get the arcade version here, which is ready to kick your ass. If you're familiar with the old school Nintendo game, this version of Life Force is faster, it looks better, it sounds better, and it's it's pretty much impossible. Both Salamander and Life Force are insanely difficult. And they're also very, very similar. It's actually a lot of fun to play both games and see the subtle differences between the two. Life Force plays more like Gradius, where you pick up your power-ups and then activate them along the way, whereas Salamander just kind of sticks you with things. All three games in this collection are one or two player, give you multiple configuration options, ranging from very easy to just impossibly hard beyond belief. Oh, so close. Each time that stupid spinning thing gets me, you've got to pick up a speed power-up in there as well. But uh, no matter what, the fire things on the next level are just deadly. If you lose your power-ups in Life Force or Salamander, you're just screwed. You've got to play these games until you memorize them. And even then, they're still frustrating. Salamander 2 is the real gem in this collection. It's a very... Cool game, one that you don't hear much about on the Sega Saturn, or anywhere else for that matter. Perhaps it's the hidden gem on the Saturn, with extremely cool visuals, great level designs, and some pretty rockin' music. It's no more forgiving than the earlier games, but the updated visuals make it pop off the screen. It's a real treat, as you'll see during the gameplay here. This plays a lot more like Salamander than Life Force. It auto-upgrades your ship. Here we've got uh, floating brains and eyeballs with flapping arms. I mean, come on, what's not to like about that? Here's a sub-boss battle where it looks like we're going to finally fight that floating brain with an eyeball and arms until he becomes lunch for something much larger. Gotta love it. We'll just ride that guy out, he's pretty easy, but that's right where the game stops being easy. After that, it's punishment time for as long as you can last, which probably won't be very long unless you're really good at these games. Salamander, Salamander 2, and Life Force just throw everything but the kitchen sink at you, and that's probably only because they didn't think about designing a kitchen sink to throw at you. Another thing that's cool about Salamander 2 is that you can launch your options as auto-targeting missiles at your enemies and then try to pick them up afterwards. I don't think I've done that much in this game just yet. The first couple levels don't require it, but you'll, you'll learn to use those things frequently. It kind of goes without saying that you want to try to keep as uh, powerful as possible, for as long as possible, the more weapons and options you have, the greater chance of not dying I instantly that you have. I really like this game, but to be perfectly honest, 
Every game on this disc is way too hard for me. The Salamander Deluxe Pack is for serious spaceship shooter enthusiasts only. Anyone else will crumble before your Sega Saturn asking for mercy. There you go. See, I was launching my options at it before I, you know, flew right into it. Very cool. Salamander 2 is one that fans of this genre don't want to miss. So there you have it, this is a Japanese release, and unlike a lot of these games, I don't think it's overpriced. You get three games for a decent price, if you can find it. It will play on a Western Saturn with the action replay card, and as you can see, there's a lot of gameplay here. Just don't expect any of it to be easy. It's the Salamander Deluxe Pack Plus, so thanks to all of you listening. This one isn't for the faint of heart or those easily discouraged or brought to tears. Option three, option three, option three.